Guess I'll start again. <laughs> My computer just went crazy. Uh, so that was close. I almost forgot to make a video today, but uh, I remembered just in time. How is he behind me? But anyway, here's the video. We got it. I'm probably not going to do so great. Um, I have not been playing this game much. I still love it, but again, you know, that Steam sale. <laughs> I had to cash in on the Steam sale. I've been playing a lot of great games. And, uh... Really? Yeah, this is going to be... This is going to be awful. My aim! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get to it. Uh, Pacific Rim. I finally got to see it. It's one of two movies this year that I've been dying to see. Um, the other one is Rush. Can't wait for that. But Pacific Rim, finally watched it, and it is awesome. I love mechs, and I love giant monsters and I love them fighting and a lot of the movies kind of cheesy but I kind of expected that shit 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 I don't know why my aim is this bad though max giant monsters I don't care if it's cheesy I wanted to watch them fight for two hours and that's what I got it was amazing the special effects were top notch I'm telling you Oh. So go check it out if you like that kind of thing. I mean, great just summer movie, sit down and watch some action. There's nothing more to it, no substance, but the action is fantastic. So I highly recommend it. And also I've been playing uh, Mass Effect. I've never played the series before, but again, you know, a lot of my friends are into it. And I'm about three hours in, and I've been having a lot of fun with that game because... Oh shit. Because a lot of games either they're like too cinematic and you hardly ever get to play, or it's just all gameplay with not a whole lot of, like, I guess time to breathe, you know? Like a time to stop and take account of what's going on. But Mass Effect, I think, has that just the mix, the balance of like the story and gameplay is great and you never get bored. And again, I'm only three hours in, but it's been great. So I highly recommend that game too. <laughs> it's fun, and I get it was the first and second one. Like, I think I've already told you guys. I think I went over this last week, but they're for sale on Steam for twelve bucks for both. So so far, I think it's gonna a good value. It's a very good value, and I can't wait to finish them. Then also, I'm going to talk about Stephen King a little bit. There's that new show out called Under the Dome, and I know a lot of people who are working on it, so I decided to check it out. And I watched the first six episodes, and it's not good. It's not a good show. And that's the problem, I think, that a lot of the Stephen King movies and stuff suffer from, is that his books, you know, they're okay. But, you know, transferred to, like, a visual medium, they are just kind of bad. I know there's a lot of people there that like uh, some of the scenes like It or whatever, but these movies are fucking garbage. So there's only one Stephen King movie that I really, really like, and uh, even that's a bad movie. But Maximum Overdrive, I just watch that movie all the time. I could watch that movie over and over. I love Maximum Overdrive, but it's not a good movie, you know, and I know that, but it's hilarious. <laughs> But speaking of this, uh, Under the Dome, I guess this is a Stephen King book, and I've never read it. But it's another one of those cases where the show just... Get away from me! <laughs> I feel like I need to turn up my mouth sensitivity or something. But Under the Dome is not good. Um, like I said, I only started watching it because I know a lot of people working on it. But, um... It's... It's terrible. I will say, uh, before I started watching it, my friends were talking about how bad the visual effects are. And honestly, for a TV show like it is, uh, they're really not that bad. Like, it's way better than sci-fi. Like, sci-fi channel stuff. Because... God, that's terrible. Like, sci-fi channel, their CG is just... <laughs> it's absolute garbage. 
but uh, Under the Dome CG I think is impressive for the kind of show it is. And another problem with shows like that, I mean, it'd probably work better if it was just one season or just a mini series. But being on a network, you know, they're going to try to milk it for all it's worth. And that's a bad idea because all you're doing is stretching it out and making it less interesting. And that's something a lot of shows I think suffer from is the network just trying to get every last penny they can out of it instead of focusing on the story itself. And it's not the only show or anything that's done that, but it's a good current example, in my opinion, because I have a feeling it's going to drag on and on and on and just get really, really bad. But I think I'm going to trudge through it, finish out the season. I mean, I've, I've watched all of Lost, so if you can watch all of Lost, I think I'll be fine watching a little bit of Under the Dome. <laughs> And it sucks too, because Lost, the first two seasons were fantastic, and then it just went downhill. And that's just, you know, a lot of hours that I'll never get back. Uh, fuck that show, man. Fuck it. Fuck it so hard. I hate Lost. That was a little mini rant. We're about to lose. Like I said, I don't know really what's going on with my game today. <laughs> but I'm doing bad. Real bad. I'm negative. <laughs> But, it's all good. I probably haven't played this game in, I don't know, almost a week. <laughs> Maybe less than that, less than a week, I think. But I definitely haven't been playing a whole lot lately. But again, it's, I still love the game. I love Black Ops 2, but I've just been trying to play some of these Steam sale games and have some fun. Shoot my teammate. I'm glad I wasn't the last kill there. <laughs> oh. Tag along Tuesdays. <laughs> Terrible game. Terrible game. It's alright. Subscribe. <laughs> alright guys. Take it easy.